You tell me. You hear something about Roger and Dodger and you're like, I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> Roger and Dodger, no way. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a very exciting, well maybe it'll be a series, depends if everyone likes it or not, depends. called Odd Book Out. Should I put the thing in now? Go. <laughs> I bought together seven fantasy books. One of them is a liar. If Tom discovers which plot is fake, he wins. If the liar survives, Megan wins. Who is the odd book out? So we have got seven fantasy books and Tom is gonna have intervals where he gets to ask me questions about any of the books. I have to tell him what the plots are, but one of these is a plot that I am completely making up and he has to try and guess which of those it is. After each round, he has to eliminate one of the books and at any point he can say, I think I've got rid of the fake one and we can stop the game. So we got this video idea, or Tom really came up with yeah, it, yeah. from the channel Jubilee does videos where it's like, six vegans and one non-vegan and the they, they have to claim really that they they have to all pretend that they're the vegan and so we've basically just ripped off their idea and yeah, using it as our own my approach to this is to go on with books that i haven't read yet because a usually if i've read a book you've heard me talk about it a bit and i don't want to give you that leg up and b some of these i don't have the clearest idea on plot anyway and so you may think i'm making it up because i don't know a lot about it That's and true. think that it's the yeah, fake I one we have got Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I know who that is. You do know who that is. We've got Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. We've got The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. The Night Circus by Erin Morganson. I know who that is. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. And we've got Middle Game by Seanan Maguire. So you're allowed to look at the covers obviously, but you're not allowed to look at the back or inside. So you've got to okay. work fairly fast. So I think a minute and a half will go really quickly. What's your approach for this? I've heard of Erin Morgan Stern and I've heard of Lee Bardugo mm -hmm. only because of your videos. Yeah. And I get the two of them mixed up because they've both got a book that's got like blue and gold on it. Erin Morgan Stern, I just always would have thought she was a rip off of Lee Bardugo. They're obviously not actually that's, very similar. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, don't listen to me. That's absolutely <laughs> founded on nothing. Like, uh, Court of Thorns. Court of Thorns and Roses, yeah. It's really shit front cover. Mate, you should see the new ones they're releasing, even worse. Um, I think it's a beautiful Sanderson music. is going to be oh. difficult for you to lie about. Okay, why do you think that? I'll just ignore the fact you must have spoiled something. I wasn't really listening. You ready? The Cruel Prince, when was this set? So, this is set in like a fey universe. Fairy. Court of Thorns, where's it set? That's also fey. And what time period is it? Set? I don't. Uh, I. I get. It's a court. I think it's like a court. Um, but Sean and Maguire middle game. I don't know what time this is. That set in. Oh, the period. No, I don't what know. What genre is it? It's kind of like sci-fi fantasy. -ish. Oh, that's suspicious, if you ask me. I found that comment to be very suspect. Strange a dreamer. This is probably the most unique one out of all of them. This is like set on a in the clouds in the sky on a village in the sky. Village in the sky, oh, that sounds interesting. Night Circus. I just know that this is set in a circus. Does um, it bear anything to do with her other books? Is it like in the universe or something? No, or not the same is universe. Is it also like fantasy type, fairy type stuff? No, not fairy. Fairy stuff, no. it's a fantasy in circus. In a circus, yeah. Hey, just quickly, You're not pause, fast, like, now pause that though. Do you remember those books that everyone liked when we were kids that was set in like a circus type thing? Approximately 10 hours later. Sanderson, have you read anything else by this person? I haven't read any Sanderson before. Is there any of these books you've read from them before, other than besides the obvious? Megan, for God's no, sake, you have to No, read. only Lee Bardugo and Erin Morganston. Oh, no, and Sean Maguire I've read from before. This is a lot tougher. Time is up. You've got to get rid of one. you got to get rid of one. I don't think you've made up Erin Morganston, for example, because... Yeah. Okay. Like, that's going to be harder to lie about because I'm aware of that author. I wish I was just trying to get rid of a vegan. Getting rid of a vegan would be far easier. Shall we give you just that round as a free? And then we do another round? Because I don't feel like you've got to get into much no, detail. No, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, so give me... No, because we only had a minute and a half anyway. So just yeah. give me another minute and a half. I think we'll start doing two minute rounds. Okay. Now you have to get rid of one. Are any of these books written by vegans? I don't know if any of these authors okay. are vegans. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. You are so inquisitive, my darling. <laughs> the Cruel Prince yep. is one of the most specific, uh, suspicious of. Are you aware of any of the main characters in it? No, ma'am. 
No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I know that they are called Jude and Carden, the two. Jude and Carden. The two lead characters. Court of Thorns and Roses. I know anything about the main characters than that. I know. I, I know her name begins with F. It's like Faya. Faya. She is kidnapped because it's a Beat in the Beast retelling. And so retelling. she's like kidnapped into this fairy court. You said that earlier and you went, oh. Maybe, Maybe I'm trying to trick you. Maybe you are. But you, generally speaking, Megan's a pretty bad liar. Sorry, it stopped recording. Megan said that this sounds like uh, the characters of Roger and Dodger. Yeah. Which to me sounds like horse shit. I'm intrigued by this one. This sounds like a really interesting book set mm -hmm. in clouds. Mm -hmm. Where Do you know where this author's from or where it gets the motivation from? I think she's American, yeah. but I don't know. I don't know other than it that. It sounds anime-like. Brandon Sanderson. I know that her dad was a pilot and she really wants to be a pilot, but he like quit. Like, you know, in military when they run away, he did that. And so he's seen as like a traitor. And so okay, she's yeah. not allowed to go into the pilot school. Okay, that really sounds quite do. interesting as well. You have got to get rid of one now. Okay, easy. Cult Thorns and Roses is number one culprit at this moment in time. Hey. <laughs> Success. A, because Megan was Putting a typical face when she lies, but then she could be aware of the fact that I know what that face looks like. So it's really difficult to tell. Beauty and the Beast retelling, if you're going to make up a story, it's really easy to make up a story like cover that, oh, it's just a retelling of something else because then it doesn't involve much brain power. Also, it's got a shit front cover and I just don't like the look of it, so it can <laughs> go. <laughs> well, should we go again? I feel minutes. pretty confident, but I don't know. Okay, Six of Crows, you got this yeah. in the collector's edition. Do I you did. have it in the normal edition as well? I don't. How much does this relate to her kind of Discworldy type universe? It's set in the same universe, but like that the Shadow and Bone trilogy is kind of set in like a fake Russia, this duology is set in like a fake Amsterdam. Fake Amsterdam? Yeah. I think somebody's trying else? to set me up. I believe that. Fake Amsterdam. Yeah, fake Amsterdam. Why would anyone want a fake Amsterdam? It's already... Got a lot of canals. So it doesn't bear any relation to the woman who beams light out of her chest. No, but it's set in the same universe. They're, I believe... Are they aware of each other? Um, I think some... I think some of... Not, I don't know if she's aware, but I think some of the characters from that book are aware of the characters in this book. I think they appear. Roger and Dodger. Yeah. One's good at language, one's good at math. The guy who created them wants to be gods and become a god with them. Quickly, the cruel prince. Yeah. This is one of the most famous. Books. Really? Yeah. This is the most famous? Yeah, one of the most. Because it's the, the weakest front cover one of the left most on the famous. table. Number one, please judge me. Number two, please hate me. Because number three, I love it. But I'm getting my head in the muddle because <laughs> to me, Roger and Dodger just don't scream through this front cover but i can kind of get the whole kind of god's thing because it's like got stuff at the top of his fingertips and like traditional art it's like god's touching man and stuff and he's like creating life with his fingers but at the same time if you want to be a god why the fuck you call it anything roger and dodger is just some sort of like dennis the menace fan or something so i'm gonna get rid of this one for that reason because roger and dodger and even if it is a real book that's a crime calling your characters roger and dodger sorry if you're called dodger out there but <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think. I'm going to up it to two and a half minutes so we can get a bit more in depth for some of these, okay? A bit more in depth, okay. As you understand this book, yeah. how much does the front cover pertain to the actual plot? I know that there are two magicians in the circus who are kind of like falling in love, but they are also battling against one another. Of these books here, yeah. how many of them follow like your traditional story arcs in that they're like, Beginning, middle, and end. I think The Cruel Prince is a very typical book. These are all series apart from The Night Circus. Oh, These, so that's a standalone. That's a standalone, the other four are all parts of series. Okay, well, that looks like it was part of a series. No. That's interesting. Like the culture of that sky people, is that based on any sort of culture? I think it's kind world? of medieval. Medieval. Um, they were like, from what I know, they're wiped out by a plague. Not wiped out by a plague, but like the society has been really badly yeah. affected by a plague. That sounds times. weird to me because if I'm thinking of making a book about sky people, I'd think they'd be like technologically advanced. Well, know, it's like to do with dreams. Thing. Oh, dreams. Right, it's the dreamer. So our protagonist Strange believes dreamer. that he can heal the society through dreams. So through like collecting stuff. <laughs> through collecting 
he starts with insects um and it's kind of him trying to get more power by getting the dreams of you're not lying about concept. that you're not lying about that that is nailed on true if you're lying about that that's masterful the whole insect thing because there's bugs on the front <laughs> night circus i don't think you're lying about either six of crows i don't think you're lying about either Cruel Prince is a suspect. Okay, my logic is that if you've got like a really telling front cover, so Six of Crows, telling front cover, at least for me anyway. Night Circus, everything Megan described related to the front cover. Sanderson, that makes loads of sense. The Stranger Dreamer, that was one I was suspicious of because it's a slightly more vague front cover until Megan managed to tie in the whole insect thing. The only thing, I, maybe it's because I've lacked questioning of it which is like well should i really get rid of that but at the same time I've, i haven't questioned it much because i can't tell a lot from the front cover because to me like along with the crown thorns book court of thorns and roses, court of thorns and roses it looks like a really generic front cover maybe i'm a bit of a weird one for that but it just looks like they're probably the most too generic ya they're the most popular ya series so probably. i might get rid of this because the other four seem like stories that hold water. Okay. They're watertight. So for that reason, Bye. The Cruel Prince. Prince is out. Okay. And I am confident in those three that I have gotten rid of the mole. Okay. Is that your final That's answer? That's me. I'm sealing it shut. You lost. I lost. You lost. Okay, right, right, okay, wait. I won a contest. Wow, maybe I just didn't try. Okay. <laughs> I think I questioned the Six of Crows least, mm -hmm. and maybe I was intimidated by the fact it was by the most famous author, yeah. at least that I'm aware of. Yeah, at least and that's why I was like, agree. well, you're not going to pick the one that is the most author's fame, the most famous author at Live Out, because that's giving you a harder job, because I'm more likely to be aware of the things she writes. I'm like, yeah, oh. you're very aware of like what I've read. So I'm going to assume though. that is the one. But if it's one of the bottom three, then I'm very impressed by your capabilities. It's not Six of Crows. I didn't lie to you about that. Wow. Holy... Do you want me to tell you which one I lied to you yeah, about? Yeah, go on. It's Strange the Dreamer by Lonely Taylor. You made that one up. I made it up. You spend all that time thinking you've won. Turns out you've got nothing. I was so certain it was the first book I got rid of. I was like, she just said it begins with F, she was giggling, all your... You did really well on that. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, it was a fucking weird thing you made. Did you make up the whole Sky People? Was yeah. Was it based partly in No, I made it all up. And I was like, that is such a bizarre story that no, she she wouldn't have made that up, like the whole Cloud People. Well, it's let's talk about the ones I got rid of. Because they sounded more generic, Megan is surely going to craft the story which is more generic and it's easier to lie about, if that makes sense. So, I genuinely, well, I, didn't, I didn't necessarily underestimate you. I think if I was going to do it, I think what I'm saying is I probably mm -hmm. underestimated your, your gamble because I'm actually thoroughly impressed with what you managed to come up with here. You should be proud of yourself. Thanks. Because actually, once I got into Court of Thorns, I was pretty confident that... that You'd done it. I'd done it. And yeah. not only that, I was like, oh, this video is, is going to... We have to make a new one because this, <laughs> is, this is going to be three minutes long. But that is actually quite cool. Maybe you could do it over like... Skype or something with another booktuber and try and fool them because it's no, easy to fool me. Yeah, it's pissy. It's no, no, but you can put you can pull up books that they've never heard of before. I'm interested to see if you guys would have done a better job as well. I think they would have done. Well, they're probably no, they're they know all the, the books, books but they surely, books. okay, right. You tell me. You hear something about Roger and Dodger and you're like, I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> Roger and Dodger, no way. Maybe I was a bit hasty on the whole cool, cool prince thing. So, like, which of these are you most looking forward to read? So, well, A Court of Thorns and Roses and The Cruel Prince, I only own for a video. I would not have any interest reading these necessarily otherwise. So I only own them for a video. That's maybe what came through to me, the yeah. fact that they were suspicious, the fact that you didn't have the same sort of energy about them. Of the two that I thought sounded the most interesting yeah. was The Night Circus yeah. and Strange the Dream of Your Lie. <laughs> if I was going to read any of them, I would have read that one. And maybe that's what convinced me. Yeah, I would have definitely read that. That had the most interesting premise. And this one interested me because it was a standalone. Yeah. And I think, personally, I'd always choose to read a standalone over a series. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Let us know if you liked it and we'll do it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just can't believe you've won that. I thought they had no chance of winning. I can't believe it. I can't. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye.